He is making his appearance on television for the first time. Sanjeev Bhatt, controversial IPS officer, the man who's taking on Narendra Modi, described as the David in this David Goliath fight, is joining me from Ahmedabad and he's accompanied by his lawyer, Iqbal Singh. I'm joined by Meenak Shileki, senior lawyer from Delhi, and also by Yatin Oza, president of the Gujarat Bar Council, and lawyer for Amit Shah, top BJP leader. Ladies and gentlemen, as I begin the debate, I have a sincere request. I know that this subject is volatile. I'd request everyone to let the other side have their say. I'd like to first ask Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt. Mr. Bhatt, why have you chosen to speak out now? And how do you link your suspension to political vendetta when your DGP says that it is simply a case of managing discipline within the police force? I don't know. I'm not attributing any motives to my suspension. I'm just taking it in my stride. I have been doing what I was required to do. And maybe the DGP and the government is doing what they are required to do. I do not want to attribute any motives to anyone. You're being very careful. Do you feel it is a consequence it's of your... Definitely. Do you feel it is a consequence of your taking on Narendra Modi? That is for the courts of this country to decide. That is for the people of this nation to decide. I have been doing my duty. I was called upon by an agency appointed by the Honorable Supreme Court to come out with the truth, to bring out the evidence on record. And that is exactly what I did, as in when I was called upon to do so. And if, as a matter of consequence, the government has to take some action in retribution, which is their want, they are entitled to do it. So I am not anyone to attribute motives. But it's for all of you to decide as to what is happening and why. Why now? You're being very careful. You're under strong legal advice, it appears to me. Sanjeev, I think your lawyer who's sitting next to you, Mr. Iqbal Singh, has advised you very strongly today because you have, you're being extremely careful, much more careful than you were when you were speaking to me a little while later in the evening. Mr. Iqbal Singh, are you holding your client back? Are you holding your client back yes, tonight? Uh, no, I would slightly differ with my client. In fact, uh, the time is the essence. The, the timing of uh, the order of suspension is just only after the Supreme Court issued the notice in the petition which, which is filed by Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt. I believe that this is a counter blast of, what, uh, of the petition which is filed by Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt. Okay, Mr. Iqbal Said, now I'll open up to those on the other side. And my first question is to Mr. Yatinoza. Mr. Yatinoza, doesn't yes, the decision to suspend the police officer who's on the show tonight reek of political vendetta? Isn't it obvious that it reeks of pure political Look, vendetta? Look, Look, Arnab, there is no question of vendetta. The wiser counsel prevailed in the mind of Mr. Bhatt only after he was transferred as principal training college at Junagadh. Till then, everything was fine. It everything, the, the posting which he did not like angered him to fire the salvo against the government. Let me tell you, Arnab, one thing. Mr. Bhatt may revert back his memories 10, 15 years back. I have fought that case. It was Jaswan Singh Rawal ya Rawat. I am not, I forget the surname. Wherein Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt himself has filed an affidavit as district superintendent of police Banaskatha, justifying the order of suspension passed by him, where a constable had remained out of job, or rather he had remained on unauthorized leave for 150 days. And Mr. Bhatt himself has stated on oath before the High Court that in a disciplined force to remain absent from duty unauthorizedly for 150 days is a serious misconduct which would entail, ultimate, which would entail the extreme penalty as envisaged under Article 311, namely removal, dismissal or compulsory retirement from service. This is Mr. Bhatt's own affidavit. Now if we go by the order of suspension, it's not only 10 months and more absenteeism, 
it is something else false so, creation so of you are saying he was in Amdabha. this is nothing you expect us to believe you expect us to Nagar. believe you expect us to believe mr rosa that this has nothing to do Yes, yes. It's nothing to do with the fact that the person who is on the screen has filed an affidavit in, the in which he says, said, in which he says that on yes. the 27th of February 2002, he was present at a meeting in which the chief minister gave indirect instructions to his officers to go slow and allow the rioting to continue. You are telling us today that why, this has why, nothing to why, do with Mr. that. Is, That's why, circumstantial. Why, why, my friend, Mr. Bhatt? Why Mr. Bhatt is saying all this after his transfer to Junagadh? Not before that. Okay, I want him to answer that. I want him to answer that directly. No, one second. I asked you that earlier, Sanjeev. Why were you silent between 2002 and 2009? Yes. I don't know, but I'd like to help and jog the memory. 2011 or not? Please. Let him reply, sir. We go not back 2009. Long 2009 is submitted. Yeah. 2000. Yeah. One minute, sir. Yes. 2009 he submitted. 2011 he was called upon to make his statement, and hence I hold 2009 as the date, sir. I I I, no, I hope no, that, that clarification right. works. That yes, sir. But he did not do. It. He did not do. Sir, your point is taken. Let him I reply. Think, I think. Let me try and help the jog of memory of my dear friend, Mr. Yatinoza. As usual, his memory seems to be failing him. First of all, I was the Joint Director General of Civil Defence till October 2010, whereas I deposed before the Supreme Court appointed SIT in the month of November 2009. That is one year before I was transferred out. So this has nothing to do with my transfer. So, Mr. Ozami, please check his facts as usual. Number two. The case which he was referring to about some just one thing, again that as usual seems to be a fabric of his imagination. I have a very good memory, it never fails me and there was no such case in which I have taken such a stand in Banaskata. Anyway, and that is not even pertinent to the issue. Yeah, please. No, my question here is, and now I want to draw in... It is absolutely, Arunap, Arunap, it's absolutely, it's absolutely pertinent to the issue. And Mr. Bhatt has sworn an affidavit. I reiterate that he has sworn an affidavit saying that in a uniform force, unauthorized leave has to be dealt with seriously. Sir, this is a question. This is I a think, slightly yeah. more. And one more thing, Arnab. Yes. One, one more thing, one more thing, Arnab. Absentism is not the only charge. I am very sure you must be having a copy of the order of suspension. It, 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 yes. it has more no than charge. one charge. Sir, 30 my, employees the, have been trans... One minute, Mr. 30 Oza. Employees, 30 employees Mr. From Mr. Oza, why hide yes. behind technicalities? Sir, why hide behind technicalities? You know, and Mr. Butt knows, and our viewer knows the context in which this whole decision is being taken. Isn't this an obvious crackdown on a whistleblower? Let me draw Minakshi Lekhi in. What purpose will it serve no, no, when you no, no, when you no, ask? No, no. There are there may be I other policemen I in I other cases. I'll come to you. Who want I to I reveal I the I truth? I may, just, just, what, just won't this serve as a deterrent? Minutes. In the afternoon also, Arna, 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 just speak? two minutes. What one, one at a time? In I, the afternoon also, I had said to your channel. In the afternoon also, I, had, I, had, I in my interview to your channel, I had said that Sanjeev Bhatt's affidavit before the Supreme Court. So State this government stand before the Supreme Court would be decided by Honorable the Supreme so Court this, this according is, to law. So this that this has nothing to do with his not reporting for duty. This is like this. That since I have filed my petition, so I have this filed is a like petition against the state government. So, so this is this is this is like this that I have filed my petition against the state government, and therefore, despite my misconduct, sir, my not reporting for duty, despite okay. despite reminders after reminders from DGP. And okay. then to justify to, that because I have, I have, I have a petition, few questions to Sanjeev because also. I have done this, because I have, I have done I have that, a, okay. my misconduct should be washed out. Okay, now now I want to get Meenakshi in. Meenakshi, yes, please. Your point to Sanjeev. Your, is he uh, is he a victim yes, today I, I have, of political vendetta? Yeah, yeah. I no no. I am saying it has got nothing to do with political vendetta. Two things one has to understand. If one is in a job. The job needs to be done in terms of the job and conduct has to be in terms of the law laid down by the conduct rules. Under the conduct rules, you can't be absent and you can't be absent for a long period of time without grant of leave. In this case, the leave was granted. First, he asked for 18 days leave, which was granted. Thereafter, he again did not report and asked for another set of leaves. 
again uh, uh, no medical nothing and the medical record which was brought he said mother has suffered a cataract and has undergone so one minute uh, operation for a cataract today you only take two days or three days to recover in the worst of circumstances now that was not a good enough excuse for him to be absent one no, you are two, going on the absence no no one minute charges. one minute meenakshi no, no, meenakshi I, I, one minute me, me you are going let on on an, on an, uh, arnab i will let me ask you one thing meenakshi uh, i am asking complete. you something let me, let me ask, ask you a simple you question let me, meenakshi let me complete yes one, one yes. question i have for you meenakshi come on you let's i am asking you today and yeah, i am asking yeah, yeah. i am asking mr yatinoza as well but i am asking you right now you know, come on let's accept what is the context here is the context meenakshi and you both you as a lawyer both as a lawyer and an, and a senior unit. bjp leader I'll, I'll you would understand the context I'll, is this I'll, 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 here is I'll, a man no no context here, is, here is a man clear. if you work for a channel and you do not report for time and the show has to go on the show will go on and they will probably it's a private job they will probably terminate you right there and then it's a government job so they have only Meenakshi. suspended him Meenakshi. and they have led a inquiry in Meenakshi, that inquiry a, also no, the gentleman refuses to participate there are certain rules under the administrative law law of the land cannot be one for mr bhat and other for other people that is not the case Let, let's not mix up two different issues okay, this affidavit before the supreme court is a separate story parallelly another story is going on where he is not reporting for his job for past 10 months can that be overlooked because he has certainly it cannot Sanjeev, certainly it cannot but with the that, same stridency that, that answers my question what led with the